Welcome back to our tutorial on Samplitude Studio uh, 2015. And uh, last we were working on the uh, program settings here. And uh, if, you've, uh, if you've just tuned into this uh, tutorial and miss out on the first one, uh, just to kind of uh, get you to uh, this interface that you're seeing in front here, if uh, you don't see this, uh, just hit the Y uh, key on your keyboard and uh, this will come up. And uh, I'm all the way down here at uh, Program General or my settings. And we were going to start looking at these directories and everything. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of, you know, I'm using a laptop right now, so uh, what I want to do is have all my project files go into uh, into my external drive so I'm gonna connect up an external drive here and this should uh, pop up here on my computer and I'll just let you look inside here uh, it's the free agent GoFlex drive it's drive E on my computer. So here we go. We have uh, a couple, few folders already on here because I use this on transferring my files from one computer to another. Um, so we have my magic projects, some um, uh, folder for, for downloads. I have a folder here for recordings. I have a folder here for videos and a folder here that has some VST files too. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that for right now. Now down over here on this interface here on the setup, uh, I want to go ahead and change all these over to the uh, my E drive now. So let's kind of just um, reduce this here. Go to my folders here. I'm going to throw everything into pretty much the projects file inside my GoFlex. And this is a good idea to do too if you're uh, doing your own projects and you know, you know you want to be able to take your files and maybe go to your buddy's place and and use them on his DAW or or whatever. You'll have them all in one place. At the, you know, and available, even if your computer isn't isn't at the house or whatever. There we go. We're gonna. What was this? This one was FTP downloads. Put that in there, and I'll just leave this uh, my temporary files on C because uh, they pretty much just all disappear at the end, anyways. All right. <clears throat> so we say oh. Okay, to this I believe. No, well, well. Before we hit OK, I also want to do my VST. So let's go all the way down here to my VST rewire, and I want to seek out my uh, VST folder, which is uh, actually on my C drive, and program files, and there's my VST folder. It was right there. That'll have my, if you look inside here, I have some Magix uh, programs in there, uh, VSTs, as well as my uh, uh, Easy Drummer in there too. So we'll say OK. So you see my VST plugin folder is right there. This will also add any other uh, folders as well. So you can, you can have multiple folders uh, for your VST plugins as well. So that's that's fine. So now we can say okay, everything's cool, and we're ready to go. So our next uh, tutorial, I'll actually open up an actual uh, file here, a project, and uh, we'll start uh, seeing how to uh, uh, connect stuff to your tracks, and uh, we'll actually do some. Uh, Recordings. We'll also go over uh, the toolbars here and how to set those up. 
uh, any way that you want. You kind of look at the interface here and you go, this is, this is really simple. And you don't have any options in here to like uh, 2014 or earlier versions where uh, you have a professional interface or, uh, or uh, yeah, I guess it's a more complex interface. They had different names for them. You can, uh, it, this one, you can, it starts you off simple, but you can make it look as complicated as you want. So we'll go over that in our next tutorial. We'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.